Hey guys, Joe here back with another video. Today it's gonna be a different video because I'm not talking about tech reviews but more of my personal experience shooting the Metro with Jay Hallerina. If you guys don't know Jay Hallerina, you guys are living under a rock. He is an awesome landscape photographer based here in the Philippines that I followed since I first got my DSLR back in 2011. Yeah, he is that legit. His commercial works include shooting architecture photography for DMCI and I am blessed to get to experience one of his Metroscapes workshops. So this video is mainly giving you guys a sneak peek and little tips when preparing to shoot the Metro. Here's a first tip when shooting the landscapes here in Metro Manila. Expect traffic. As a girl living in the south, going to these places requires me to be extra early. Otherwise, you'll be missing the opportunity to shoot the sunset. For me, it's better to be extra early so you can scout the area and prepare a shot list of the landscape you see when you're up in the roof deck. Brixton was the first roof deck of the workshop and I only got a couple of night shots since I was late. There were different brands during this activity such as Fujifilm, Lightroom Corp, Altitude Digital, and JT Photo World where they will let you borrow their gears such as lenses and tripods for you to try out during the workshop. The second location is the roof deck of Torre de Manila. It's located at Taft Avenue and it has a perfect 360 degree view of Metro Manila with no obstructions at all. For this day, Jay showed us a few tips of handling a drone. Having a drone does give an advantage of shooting landscapes. If you want to get your first drone, you should check out Altitude Digital for a wide range of drone choices. After his talk, I shot a couple of photos and a few drone shots. On the third day, we went up to the roof deck of Prisma Residences. It's a perfect view overlooking Taguig, C5, and the mountains of Tanay. This time, I brought with me the case filter system for this location. Having a filter system for landscape photography gives an elevation to your shot. So investing in one does help in giving you options on how you want to shoot landscapes. So guys, that's my experience of shooting the Metro with Jay Hallerina's Metroscapes. If you want to experience this kind of workshop, I'll leave Jay's social media account and you can message Jay for his updated landscape workshops. That ends my video for today. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified, and I'll see you in the next one.